Hello, this is Stuart from Viking CAD to demonstrate why AutoCAD Civil 3D is uh, a must-have must in order to uh, do any kind of external levels, uh, any kind of design on a road or any kind of uh, hard surfacing. Here we have a nice road, perfectly designed to nowhere, going up there in the nice arc. The uh, biggest long section is this section along the, this road. Uh, it actually starts just, uh, existing road down there on the left hand side and there is a load of sections through the road all uh, nicely drawn at the uh, various changes uh, so we'll, uh, we'll just have a go to show how we can easily mess this up uh, let's, uh, do it like. this is a section the uh, design section through the road, which we, we'll just go have a go at uh, editing uh, this. Um, yeah, you can see it's got two barriers on either side. We'll just delete one of them from one side. Apply. You see, it went missing from the section. Uh, and the lane on the left. How often does a lane alter by just a couple of hundred and no one? Everything has to be altered or do you, do you really alter it? Anyway, this one will alter to 10 meters so it can be seen. Instantly updates on the section here. Okay. And, uh, go to the plan, uh, which needs updating before we can see any changes. Uh, the corridors 8th Avenue. Rebuild that. See the one side of the road instantly gets wider. These red areas on the outside is where the road is in cut, and the green areas is uh, where it is in on embankment. And, uh, in the sections, which is this uh, ten three eight zero. Oh. Yeah, is one of the sections we can see. This, this is the centre line of the road. One side is uh, much longer. The crash barrier is missing, and it's the shoulder comes down, and then it is an um, an um, embankment. The other side of the road, the shoulder comes down to a bit of a drainage ditch, and then goes up through, cut into the existing road level, existing ground levels. If we go to the object viewer, oops, what can I do there? Do that again. So if we go to the uh, object viewer, go to isometric view, zoom in on the end here. See, there's a 10 meter width, half width carriageway from the center line, a shoulder to a ditch. Into cutting up to existing level on the same on the on the other side, and uh, if we pan across to near the near the middle, you can see this the half the ten meter wide section of road shoulder, then a not embankment down to existing ground level. Let me show that. So if we go back to our drawing again. Um, uh, the, of course, on the long section here, the ali alignment changes. So it just nicely follows the existing ground level at the moment. But we'll put lots of fill, just to annoy the environmentalists. Again, update 8th Avenue. Can be set to automatically rebuild, but then it will rebuild and take this amount of time every time any small change is done to the profile or alignment so the plan changes again and again most of the sections are now in lots of fill thank you oh, that is why I think Civil 3D is uh, one of the better ways of designing external levels although they have a, a shown this on a road it also works on drainage runs as well where the uh, 
uh, trench widths can be uh, automatically generated with the uh, pipe uh, diameters from either from AutoCAD can do a design or uh, micro drainage does a better job of it of course but uh, it all can be done from within AutoCAD so thank you very much for listening and if you would like any of your external level drawings producing or sections please get in touch you can be contacted on this website www.vikingcad.co.uk